miss my friends, yeah. I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. And I ain't got no love. Good day to you all. It's a great day in Melbourne. It's sunny. And to start off, we're just going to, I'm just going to calm down and take a breath. Because I think, I think it was two audiograms ago. I really like rushed it because I was thinking, oh no, if it's too long, then people aren't going to listen to it. And People don't have attention span these days, so it's just got to be fast. But it doesn't matter. Like, it's just a stupid way of thinking. It's very like, I guess when I've been researching, you know, how to build followers and a fan base and all that kind of stuff, I guess I've been thinking people in general have a shorter attention span uh, these days because of like TikTok and social media in general. So I was kind of a bit, that was playing on my mind, but I'm just going to take as long as needed. So what a big week it's been. Um, so I dropped the quarantine track and it's been very hectic just because I've been trying to um, get all like the social media stuff sorted and have all the images and all the content aligned across the different platforms um, and just setting up like the links and all that kind of stuff. And like, for example, like my current thing, which is a link tree has like five links on the page. And I was like stressing about, Oh, there's too many links there and there's not enough links and which link is going to go first. So spending like two hours on it when I could have just spent two minutes, but that's just the type of person I am. <laughs> like I just go way overboard and try to make everything perfect. But I think it looks good now, so it's okay. But I'm just going to take a sip of water now. So as you might be aware, I was meant to drop Champagne Star as the first song, but I had a change of plans and that was emotionally driven, I think, because of when they announced the start of the last lockdown. Um, it, yeah, that hit me pretty hard, I think, on the Thursday and the Friday and the Saturday, pretty much the weekend. Um, and most people I've spoken to about it have said the same thing. I think because for Melbourne we kind of thought, where we're on the way out sort of um, and we'd kind of gotten past the worst. So to go back a few steps was pretty tough. And I just found like I needed to vent in some sort of way um, or like t I felt like I guess taking a risk or I guess when I'm under pressure from like something like that, I want to act out in a certain way or so the emotion's got to go somewhere. So it's kind of funny, but I thought I'll show the government for locking us down and I'll release this quarantine song because I'm I'm really nervous about sharing it. So I'm just going to do it. So that'll, that'll show the government. Uh, uh, <laughs> something like that. I don't know. But um, that's why I decided um, to release it and... Now that it's done, it's like it wasn't even the, the thought of doing it is the intimidating part. Once it's done, like it's out there. Um, and I've had good feedback and I've, I'm very thankful to everyone for listening and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I appreciate you all. So thank you. Um, just an interesting like kind of side note to it all. I've, there's this Discord that I'm part of, which um, 
it's like American base where people can post their song or um, ask for feedback and that type of thing. And I posted my song in there and just thought, you know, what does everyone think about this? And there was um, there was one comment which was kind of it was annoying, but I just think they don't understand the extent of it all. Where it was something like it was implying that um, people just put out quarantine songs because it's like a trending thing, which I think some people do that, and I think I'm being opportunistic. Um, at this point in time with like releasing a quarantine song. But the reason that I'm doing it is more from a like connection standpoint. Because if I had to drop this song, say I dropped this song like two years later where we might be out of lockdown, maybe, um, people won't be able to connect with the song because it's like you you forget what it's like. Um, and considering... You know, I've been in and out of lockdowns for nearly two years now. It's kind of like that's all I've really known the last two years. So, of course, I'm going to make a song about quarantine because that's – well, not quarantine, but, like, you know, lockdowns and um, COVID because that's all I've kind of known. I really haven't had much else to do. So <laughs> that's why um, when I saw that comment, I was kind of like I'm not just trying to, like, market it Um it's good timing and that type of thing, but I'm doing it because people will be able to connect with like the way they're feeling about lockdown in this present moment. And I guess the song is kind of like, um, what do you call it? The style of the song is, you know, energetic and it, it's kind of like a pump up song in a way. Um, so hopefully that gives you some relief from the lockdown. I uh, just want to talk about the reason why I didn't um, release it. Just a second. So there's this artist called Skinny from the Nine and he made a song uh, with Fetty Wap. I think it's called Fast. I'll link it in my story. But anyway, um, one of the reasons I didn't release this song was I, I guess in a way I felt like a like shame or like I was cheating in a way because in that song I've kind of used the melody of the chorus and I've also used a bit of the flow from one part of the verse. So for me, I guess I was like, oh, like all this self-talk that I'd kind of given myself like you know you shouldn't you shouldn't release a song if you've like used elements of someone else's song and copied certain things um like you don't deserve to put a song out there like can't you just come up with your own style and why are you trying to copy people and all that kind of stuff like very negative um, and that's why I wanted to make Champagne Star my first song because um, that's just all me. Like I didn't like, like obviously I'm subconsciously copying other artists because that's what you do. You listen to music that you like and you sort of, I think subconsciously when you're making your own style, you're influenced by that. So um, have a listen to that song and I'm sure you'll be able to tell like some similarities um, especially with the chorus, but ultimately like I came up with the lyrics and it's quite different. Like when I listen back to it, I'm like, oh yeah, I use that. But then for like most of the other parts of the song, it's like my style and that type of thing. So I think there's nothing wrong with, um, you know, being inspired or influenced by someone because um, skinny from the nine, <laughs> what a name, but I really like, um, like the effects he uses on his vocals. Like I like the reverb and all the kind of stuff that he's doing. So that has inspired me with my music. Um, so I think if, I think the only time where 
like you should feel wrong or feel negative about doing that is if you don't acknowledge it because if you're just trying to like if you're trying to rip someone off and you're not even acknowledging it and you're trying to pass it off it as your own then that's kind of I think that's the wrong thing to do so me I'm just getting it out there that there's that song I've been inspired by it I've used definitely used some parts but ultimately I've made my song my song so um that's kind of why that's kind of the backstory um to all that and I think that just about covers off yeah I think it covers off everything that I wanted to say um got the quarantine remix coming out next Friday um and then I'm contemplating releasing a song from a couple of years ago, um, which is called Yeeto Dean. Um, and that was a very popular song amongst my New Zealand friends, um, mainly, mainly because most of them were in the song, except for Steph, sorry. Shout out to Steph because I, yeah, really, really dropped the ball on that one. But um, the quality is way lower and that type of thing. But, you know, I might do it just because regardless of, the what you record with or how good the quality is if it's a good song and the the vibes right then it doesn't matter and I think with that song it's a good vibe so I'll think about it um but just just give me a second because I just want to make sure there's nothing floating around in my brain oh yeah sorry oh, I nearly forgot the most important part So normally I'll post the audiograms on every Friday um, and last night I didn't. So I've missed, I've missed like the, the day I was meant to do it. And I think one of the reasons I was like really focused on having it on a Friday is, again, the analytical side of my brain was thinking when I was researching about, you know, how to build your base and that type of thing. And it said, you know, make sure you're consistent and I guess that helps to build trust with the people that are following you and that type of thing. So that's why I was like, oh, no, if I miss the the Friday drop for the audiogram, then people, aren't, people are going to stop listening and not they'll think that I'm like dodgy or something. Like that's kind of the way I was thinking about it. But ultimately last night I just I didn't have the energy for it and – I know that <clears throat> the people that I'm who actually care um, about me and listening to this, they would rather me look after myself than, you know, push through and post something when I'm not really, I don't have the mental energy for. So it's just about being kind to yourself and, you know, giving yourself a break. And I was just giving myself a break. So I think it's for the better. My energy's up today after a nice walk. The sun's shining. And that's it. Catch you on the next one. Oh, yeah, I forgot one thing. <laughs> so I've just, I've just punched back in on the record. So I've officially stopped putting songs in the intro for these audiograms because the last two times I've been copyrighted. So you may wonder why there is a song in the intro this time. And the reason why is it's because it's my song. Thank you, bye. No gym, so that means no creatine. There been some days. Mom don't even feel my t-shirt sleeves. Damn. I miss my friends, yeah. I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. And I ain't got no 